Hello. In this video, I'll show you how you can prepare an attendance sheet using Google Forms. So first you have to have a Gmail account and in the forms, we uh, enter and we click on blank form. The attendance sheet could be used for uh, employees. It could be used also for students. Uh, so like this, it could be useful in any context. So here first, we have to name it attendance sheet. Okay, the first question that we're having, uh, it's uh, date, because for every event or for every session, we're having a date. So we write date and time, okay? And here we can include time as well. The second question will be the list of attendees. Okay, and the type of question that we will choose, it will be multiple choice grid. And like this, I start with the names that we're having. Let's say Sam, Vanessa, Jane, Ellie, and we can add one other, add myself. Okay, and in the columns here, you're having whether it's present or absent. Okay, and here also we have to put that these questions, they are required. So we click also on required. One thing to do uh, before we go to settings, and we all click on this in the general, I click on see summary charts and text responses, and later on I'll tell you why I have clicked this. <clears throat> and because most of the time, most of the people they are present, in order not to fill every time uh, the same information, so what I can do here in an attendance sheet, it's to get a pre-filled link. Okay. So I click here, the date and time will change, so I won't fill them. However, I will fill all the attendees that they are present. And like this, I can get the link. I can click on copy link. And this link, I can uh, keep it with me at all time. Okay, so here I paste it. And I start with the first time, let's say on the 17th. Time, it's at two, okay. And Vanessa was absent, okay. And I click on submit, okay. So here what I did before, okay, I can see what happens every time. So I can see previous response. So as you can see, I know here that Vanessa was absent one time. I will fill another response with the pre-filled link. Here I'll change the date, let's say 18, and also it's at two, okay? And as you can see, the form is already filled. However, this time we're having a lead that is absent, and I can click on submit. So I can at any time, whenever I'm taking the attendance, to see what was happening before and that. And for example, Sam, he was, two times, one is one time absent, one time present, and here the same for Ellie. So as you can see, it's too easy to prepare uh, an attendance sheet using Google Forms. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.